Tell us your name and tell us about your project. My name is Peter Hicks, and several research teams and I discovered the Higgs boson, which is an invisible particle that gives other particles mass after those particles pass through the Higgs field. The reason we were researching this is that there was a hole in the standard theory, so we researched deep into it so we could figure out what the hole was. What were you guys trying to do or find? I was trying to figure out why W and Z gauge bosons had gained mass after different events happened to them, while the photons didn't gain any mass, as this was one of the biggest questions the physics community had at the time and threatened the standard theory since it was a missing piece in the theory and could have made the theory obsolete, untrustworthy, and could just be tossed out altogether. So I researched and made a theory, theory that fit the answer, but when I tried to submit my first research paper, it was rejected due to the reviewers believing that invisible, undiscovered particles were too strange to be credible. Therefore, it wasn't relevant to the physics community, but later I was able to publish my research with a different organization. Where did the project or experiment occur? I first submitted my theory about the anomaly we were researching in 1964, but it wasn't until 2012 that the researchers physically discovered the Higgs boson. The experiments that confirmed my theory were performed at the CERN laboratory on the Franco-Swiss border near Geneva, and the discovery was on July 4th, 2012. What other significant events were happening around the world at that time? In Britain, during 1964, several things happened. One of them was the Resale Prices Act, and that prevented big businesses from forcing small businesses to close down due to undercutting the prices. But I'm guessing you mean what may have influenced me and my research. To be honest, many things probably had an impact. I, mean, I was born in 1929, so I grew up in Birmingham, England during World War II, and I had to live through the rations and issues during that time. So I could be interested in physics and research as a way to do something that benefits the world after all the issues that happened. As to what prompted the search for the physical pr particle, technology has taken great leaps since I first published my research paper. I mean, portable TVs had just become possible when I first submitted it. But then now we have portable phones and electric cars and so many other things. So I believe that the researchers found it now because there was technology to be able to find it. Who else was involved in the project? I was the only one working on a theory that I submitted, though there were two teams that came up with similar theories on the same subject. The people on these teams were Anderson, Brout, and Gurnick, Hagen, Higgs, Kibble, and Tehut. And long after we submitted our theories, researchers finally used them to discover the Higgs boson. What was your role in the project? I guess I was the lead in researcher and one for my theory. And then after that, it was mainly my theory and the other theories that featured in the discovery, which was done by CMS and Atlas research groups. What impact did your project make on the physics community? My theories filled a place in the standard theory, therefore throwing any doubts about the standard theory out the window. It also affected the supersymmetry theory and explained where the mass of some particles came from altogether. My research solved several mysteries that hadn't been explained until my theory came about and prompted research into physically finding the boson. What are some things you wish had been done differently with the Higgs boson? I sincerely wish that the name for the boson was an acronym of all the researchers that worked to discover it, and that it wouldn't be called the God Particle, as I feel that nickname sensationalizes.